them in, don't let them see Be the white girl that you're so blessed to be Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know Well now they know Now they know Now they know It's better to be white Now they know Now they know Not a POC in sight I don't care What they're going to say Let the woke rage on Cause brown people bother me anyway <laughs> Guys, that is not how the song Let It Go from Frozen goes, but that's exactly how anti-racist Robin D'Angelo heard it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into this video, if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing on this channel, I have a Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Support if you want to support. Now, let's talk about the movie Frozen, because it's recently come to my attention that some people view this movie as racist. And by some people, I mean the paragon of anti-racism herself, Robin D'Angelo. You may have heard this name before. It may be ringing some bells. Robin D'Angelo wrote a book called White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Race. And she has sort of labeled herself as the anti-racist expert and somebody who can teach others how to have the difficult and uncomfortable conversations surrounding race. She herself is white and owns up to her own fragility on the topic. And a video has recently gone viral of Robin D'Angelo talking about movies and representation, and particularly the Disney movie Frozen that was released in 2013. Let's watch. The challenge is this idea that children are innocent. I mean, certainly born innocent, but research shows that by age three, as early as age three, they mm. understand that it's better to be white. Wow. So let me be clear. Not that white people are better, but that it's just better to be white. Mm. And let me give you an example of, of um, Frozen, the movie Frozen. Yes. It, it's huge, this movie, right? Mm. I, I've seen little girls all over the world with the backpacks. And, I mean, you can't watch that movie and not know that the ideal is white, blue eyes, blonde hair, red hair. That's just one example. And you can have maybe a frog that turns into a princess for a minute and goes back to a frog and she's a brown girl. Uh, 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 pause. Hold up. I know she didn't just bring my girl Tiana into the conversation and then mischaracterize the whole movie. If you've seen the movie Princess and the Frog, which mind you, came out before Frozen, okay? So the black princess came out before Elsa and Anna at the risk of sounding like a Disney adult. Tiana did not go from frog to princess back to frog. And they're just, you know, making us know that all black girls should be frogs at the end of their movies. Tiana went from woman to frog to princess. So let's come correct. Let's get it straight. So either Miss Robin D'Angelo here decided not even to watch the movie that featured the black representation, or she's purposefully mischaracterizing what happened in that film in order to usher her own narrative of victimhood onto black people. Both things are wrong if you're gonna talk as if you're an expert on the topic of representation and racism in film. But I digress, let's continue and keep watching. It, that doesn't, oh, that's the exception, not the rule. So don't be naive about what they're, what they're internalizing and how early. Um, and also don't don't be naive that you can just lecture them <laughs> and you know you know you shouldn't and then that's fine what is your life like you know the idea of on the airplane put your oxygen mask on and then turn towards the more vulnerable mm -hmm. so do you have an integrated life you you're telling your children everybody's equal but you have never had a person of color at your dinner table that's a the practice of our lives is so much more powerful than the words we say. Ah, uh, okay. So if you're a white family who is telling your kids that, you know, race doesn't matter. We are colorblind for the most part. We don't care about the color of the individuals that we speak with, who we're friends with, who we consider to be our family. If you believe that, you have to farm black friends or collect them like Pokemon so that they can sit at the dinner table with your kids and that they can have representation in their lives. You know, gotta catch them all, I guess. Like I'm drunk on stars. 
And it's interesting because Robin D'Angelo is the same type of person that would complain about tokenization every time somebody says, well, I have a black friend or I have a black family member or my mother-in-law is black. Yet she's advocating that people go and farm black friends so they have a little bit of representation at the dinner table. And she's got it completely wrong when it comes to representation. We're gonna get into that, but we're also gonna fact check her really quickly. If you take the time, and I mean two seconds, to Google Disney princesses, you will get a picture of a very diverse group of young women. Just to name a few diverse princesses off the top of my head, not to say that the white ones aren't diverse, but I'm gonna use her leftist worldview and mindset just to fact check her really quickly. You have Mulan, you have Moana, you have Jasmine, you have Tiana, you have Pocahontas, not to mention all the other white princesses who come from very diverse geographical backgrounds. But no, that is not enough because we cannot allow white people to have their own stories. And just a quick Google search on the background of Frozen, Elsa and Anna, the two sisters who are featured in the film, live in Arendelle. And if you look into Arendelle, it is supposed to be a cartoon picture of a Norwegian village. You know, those Norwegians are famous for having tons of people of color, aren't they? So are we now supposed to abandon our historical knowledge and what we know to be true just to inject black people into the story to make others feel good? My answer to that is no. And it doesn't make you racist if your answer is also no. You didn't say yours. What? Your racist thing, thing that you've done. Thought about or I done. Don't know. You have yeah. something inside of you that's not quite like that's racist. So you must have you must have examples in your own life. And you will never, and I mean never, hear this conversation in the opposite direction of putting white people into stories that are traditionally black or brown. And I get it, white people dominated Hollywood, movies, and entertainment for quite some time. And even when there were diverse characters, they were often played by white people. But I think we've made up for that already, and we don't need to go down the path of just constantly injecting diversity into everything, and especially movies, TV, and entertainment where it does not make sense to have diverse characters characters, like that of a Norwegian village. And I want to challenge this idea that we didn't have representation when we were growing up. As a kid, I was watching TV like Family Matters, Cheetah Girls, The Proud Family, That's So Raven, and oh, I'm, I'm getting a vision. I'm getting a vision that maybe Robin D'Angelo is lying about representation because it fills her pockets and gets her in the right rooms to have these conversations. As a white ally who cares for us brown people. And even with all the representation that I can now look back and recognize that I had as a child, you know which character resonated with with me the most, Mulan, a Chinese girl. And it wasn't because of the way she looked. In fact, I gave very little thought to the fact that she was Chinese in the first place. What happened is that Mulan's character, morals, and values resonated with me as a young woman. Kids do not care about skin color. They're not taking that into account. They don't necessarily need to see that in the TV that they're watching. They care about the characters and the storyline, not about race. And it actually takes racist adults like this to get kids thinking about race and skin color. If Robin D'Angelo had her way, every single piece of TV or media or entertainment would just be a mix match of all races, regardless of historical context or any facts behind the matter, and it would be used to push an agenda rather than a storyline that people can actually relate to. And I guess the good news for Robin DiAngelo is that the executives at Hollywood are already doing this stuff. Good movies and TV is hard to come by now because of all the political agenda that has been placed inside our entertainment. I mentioned Proud Family earlier in this video, a cartoon that I used to watch as a kid that followed the life of the black Proud Family. And now due to activism, this is what Proud Family looks like right now. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves, slaves built this country. This push for representation and political agenda in media is not making the media better, it's making it worse. In fact, it's almost making it unwatchable. So is it actually a win for representation when you race swap all these characters and the actual media that you leave behind is no good? Representation should be about telling diverse stories from diverse backgrounds, diverse times, not about looking at skin color and seeing if you can check mark your quota for each film that you watch. And if you're teaching children that they need to feel represented based on skin color in order to feel like they have somebody to relate to, you're teaching them wrong. Representation, again, is about character and values. And sure, it's nice to see somebody who looks like you play a princess, but I think we've got that covered. And don't let anybody lie to you and tell you that we don't. So no, making a movie like Frozen doesn't mean that you're emphasizing the fact that to be white is to be better. And watching it doesn't make you a racist. It makes you a person who likes good movies and good stories. But I'd like to get your thoughts on the matter. Drop them in the comments down below. As always, I encourage healthy debates, so duke it out, but do so respectfully. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every single day, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.